And here's the Chinese food. Oh, that looks very good. Thank you. All right, so we have uh, pork balls here, sweet and sour pork balls. Wow, it smells already delicious. And yeah, I'm a huge fan of sweet and sour dishes. Easily in the top three of my most favorite Chinese dishes. I remember uh, when I was in Hong Kong last year, I tried authentic sweet and sour pork there. And that was so, so delicious. So yeah, sweet and sour pork, a Cantonese dish from the Canton region in China. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, add it to the rice now. Actually, I think I could have ordered some uh, vegetables on the side as well, some greens that would have uh, fit well as well. Okay, I think I'm going to start with just trying a meatball. I could imagine that they are homemade here. Let's give it a try. Mm, very, very nice flavor. I think I can definitely taste that they are homemade here. It's not a uh, processed uh, meat. You can taste the difference immediately. So I think these are homemade uh, meatballs here. Very, very good. Okay, now one spoon full with everything. Cheers, guys. I tried authentic sweet and sour pork before, and I think the taste is very, very similar. So I would rate this as quite authentic. So we have uh, carrots here. We have uh, some greens. I think this is a uh, garlic. We have onions. And then, yeah, the highlight, of course, uh, the meatballs. And then you can mix it all together with rice. I think this is also a dish that uh, is easy to eat for Westerners. Sometimes Westerners are like, a bit afraid to try Chinese food because it's such a weird cuisine or it can be such a weird cuisine. I'm just uh, quoting some of the comments that I read before in the past on my channel. Uh, how can you try Chinese food? It's such a weird cuisine. Comments like this uh, I gotten quite a few times actually. But this is actually a dish, absolutely nothing weird about it. 